She's climbing around all up there, undoing braces. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the off-grid cabin build here on our homestead. And as you saw right there behind me, man, we made some progress yesterday. If you missed yesterday's video, uh, we put up the trusses, guys. You can see the cool crane work from the crane operator in that video. If you haven't seen that yet, go back and check out yesterday's video. But it's starting to look like a house, man. I know you guys have been waiting for the trusses, but trust me, you haven't been waiting as impatiently as we have. We set them all in place yesterday. And then after the crane operator left, we, um, we put in this bracing. This is just temporary bracing right, to hold them so that they don't wanna fall over. We um, put this bracing in. We put this bracing in as well yesterday, temporary. We got one over here that's temporary, one right here. And then up in the top there, you can see this brace right here that goes down diagonally. There's one over on this side as well. And then we've got running along the top, all the way across, bracing up there. So we're braced good, man. It's like super solid. We did that last night because we didn't want it to blow over in a storm or something last night. We didn't want all these things just to go over like dominoes. So today, what are we gonna try to do? We're gonna finish the sheathing along the walls on the outside because the sheathing is actually gonna tie the trusses into the wall even better. Oh, here's something that's cool. You probably saw it in the video yesterday, but uh, let's go look on this side so that the lighting's better. We used some pretty cool six inch screws. Right here, you can see right there. Those are called timber lock screws. Uh, there's a link down in the description if you wanna check them out. But timber lock screws replace hurricane ties and they're super fast and super easy to use. Just and they're in, man, and that truss is locked down. Hopefully we'll finish these floor joists. We got we got one up yesterday just as like a test. We're gonna put them across here, across here, across here, across here to here, and then that's eight foot. And then here we're gonna put four foot ones from the bathroom wall over to that girder over there, right to there. And that then will expand our upstairs. And we can put the flooring down, we can build the dormers, We'll be ready to rock and roll for a roof. So I'm guessing, I don't know, a couple weeks, hopefully. And we'll have our, our roof on, guys. Ah, oh, it's going to be good. It is really cold. It's not as cold as it was earlier. Earlier it was like 32 degrees when we first got up, but yeah, I still have on three long sleeve shirts and two hoods and a beanie. <laughs> I guess I think it's cold. <laughs> and my nose is dripping too, so it's definitely cold. We got the OSB up on this side of the house here. Jules was using the level and just making sure that all of the trusses were plumb. We'll likely have to go through and loosen each one individually on the bracing and just make sure that they're plumb before we start sheathing. Some of them are off just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side here. Yesterday, Jules was so timid about getting up into even the second story. But look at her now. She's climbing around all up there, undoing braces. Yeah, you did. Doing awesome. So we're almost done putting up the OSB along these sides. This side did have a lot more. They needed to be moved a lot. The other side, we didn't really have to undo any of the bracing um, down lower to, to get them to move just a little bit. But these ones, we had to undo all the bracing and, and move them and um, we just started off crooked yesterday. Right here in the beginning, we started off right here 
And then all of these were all off because we use those spacers, which spaced them perfectly. Perfectly off. So basically we're clamping this level onto there and then Jules is adjusting it here. And then I'm nailing it into the OSB, which holds it there like rock solid. Then she goes back and tightens up the bracing. So man, we just got a little bit more to go. And check it out, it was supposed to be raining, but it ain't looking like rain. This is our first snow here on the homestead. <laughs> it's only September, it's really crazy. It's so beautiful though. Sorry if I look kind of crazy, I just woke up. I actually slept in my beanie because it was cold last night. <laughs> but I got up and I wanted to show you, it was like, you know how you can kind of sense it's been snowing? Concerned last night, the wind was so crazy and so, oh, I just was worried everything was gonna get blown over. Let's go over and see if Seth's awake. Oh, I hear Tux. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Tux. What is it? This is snow. You want to see? Hi, buddy. Oh, Look at the know. snow. <laughs> Do you want to come out? Come on. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Let's go see about Sarah now. It's beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> come here, Tux. Tux, come. Come, come, Tux. <laughs> Tux is like, I've had enough of this. Coming back to bed. I don't know what all this white stuff is, but it's cold and wet. <laughs> He's such a wimp. If you want to see more about what's going on in our homestead, there is a video right over here that you probably would like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you right over there in that video in just a second.